Sardex starts uh, right after the financial crisis in 2009 uh, with a basic, basic, very, very, very basic mission, which was helping uh, small and medium sized companies in the local economy, like go through uh, the credit crunch that, that reached uh, basically with six months lag from Lehman to, to the streets here. And um, and so uh, in in that case, what, what we what we did, and that's the core of how we understand uh, uh, community credit, uh, is that it it is so far a complementary uh, economic and and trade system. It's network structured. We provide a, a platform to a, a very diverse community of companies, uh, workers, as well as, as consumers uh, now. Um, so, um, and, and the key aspect I would say, and in this way, uh, crypto, is, or like, let's say the distributed ledger space or it is sort of uh, catching up with, with practices that are in some, some, ways, some ways ancient. Uh, and, and in some others modern because what we do uh, from the day we started was uh, possible because we had a cloud platform and, and we're still running uh, on the cloud. Um, and, and, but, but again, the, the technology is only secondary. The, 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 main, the main purpose of these things, is, at least in our view and the, the reason why we, we do still exist is that we, uh, we offer uh, uh, a very powerful uh, uh, um, set of tools to companies. So we ask for uh, for a fee, for a subscription fee. Uh, Sardex ain't free. It, it is not, uh, I wouldn't say it's super cheap. Uh, it's not expensive as traditional finance, I would say. Totally not extractive, but we need to survive. So, uh, but but the companies get like a toolbox of of, of of things uh, like uh, like the credit line, like the ability to to have an online shop or uh, to do payments, and again, all by creating the, the the credits themselves. That that's the key aspects. So we set the limits in the system because that's the way it works so far in this work. Uh, that, that's an interesting like uh, future avenue to explore. But so far, we as, a, as, as an operator, uh, we have to set the boundaries, but we do this also uh, in parallel to what the market demands. So we have to keep an eye on the local currency market to see that you, you don't have like a million lawyers uh, in the network and no grocers. You know, that's not going to work. So what we've learned is that you have to have as much diversity as possible. And there are elements which are incredibly hard for local economies uh, to, uh, or, and, and I would say community credit systems and community currency. Well, this whole universe, there are some uh, barriers that go beyond technology and go even beyond the will of the people. Uh, uh, in terms like you can have the best community ever on the freest platform ever uh, with the highest level of peer trust. And still, if you need oil, if you need uh, whatever, well, man, you need fiat. Uh, or you need some components in your supply chain. And I mean, I'm talking from an island, which in a way, is uh, already like f f uh, a part and interdependent it is already in a network because we actually do not live in autarky. I mean, there, there, there's a single European market here as well. Uh, but again, uh, I can tell you through, through the, the experience uh, here that uh, you can be the best, like offer the best tech, best pricing for the market best product offering if we're talking about non-convertible and sardex is not convertible to euros that that's key aspect and and 
and, and is peer generate issued, peer destroyed, but you cannot convert it. And in that case, to make it valuable, you need fungibility. And there you go with the energy things or the broken supply chains. Like we had people asking for iPhones in Sardex. And our answer was, well, uh, why don't you buy local food, save yourselves a couple of euros, and then go buy all your iPhones that you like. But this shit is meant to foster local food, local people, uh, local energy, and the like. And local is global. I mean, that, that, that I can also say that the same sort of problems uh, uh, appear everywhere at random, normally, and during crisis like what we've, we're going through, like the need for, I would say, uh, uh, banking services or basic credit services, not depending on the legacy of whatever kind. Uh, and really the tech is the least of my worries. I'm not uh, like a, uh, and actually with Mark, we've worked with, with like mixing cloud and chain. I'm totally agnostic to that. The point is how you do what you do, uh, is it legal or not? Or, and again, the gray area is, uh, is something that will uh, not help adoption. I mean, we had to go through a million oops and, and we have to go a million oops every day to stay in line. Like our regu regulatory space is a centimeter square. And, and we got to be very careful. Uh, that, that, that's also like, I mean, and I'm all for like permissionless innovation, but the world, world today ain't that permissionless. 